a law. Yes. You see, some time ago I said if we have like two thirds of the planet population vegetarian, then we could have saved the planet too. But now it's too late. Now we need the whole planet population to be compassionate. Vegan would be the best. They also have UFO, huh? Yes. The two uh, surviving planet, they have UFO. Thank you, Master. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of the total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, free up 3.4 billion hectares of land, free up 760 million tons of grain every year, half the world's grain supply, consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production, reduces pollution from untreated animal waste, maintains cleaner air, saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year, stop 80 percent of global warming, Plus more. Hello, Master. Hello. How are you? Hey, how are you? Ah, very good, thank you. Come and start. Muy bien, Maestra, gracias. <laughs> gracias a usted. Um, I have a question, but you already helped us to solve it about which planet was first destroyed, either Venus or Mars, and you tell us already it was Venus. Uh huh. Um, however, Venus ever had the chance to get in contact? Uh, with Mars planet before the disaster occur? No. No, they don't contact each other. The two Venus that has been uh, annihilated or uh, ruined, they have not much spiritual quality. They don't have telepathy, nothing, because they concentrate all on the physical aspect of development. They do not care about spiritual practice. That's why they got destroyed. I understand. Uh, when a disaster happened, did any being survive to the disaster? And how did they manage to survive? How many beings were able to survive to the climate disaster? No. None. None. Also um, all gone. All gone. Uh, some die immediately, some die slow and painful death within a few weeks, all gone. Men, animals, trees, grass, all. Anything that once existed on this uh, hot Venus planet, all gone in a few weeks' time. And the other planet that I mentioned, the fourth Venus, it just completely gone in, you know, minutes. Exploded. It's very sad. Very sad, I know. And the main reason for the uh, extinction of the fourth planet was that because they live a very vicious way of life. They don't care about God or any moral standard. Anyone against them or preach something like divine nature or God, they immediately kill them, but in a torturous way in the cruelest, painful, slowest possible death. This is a terrible, terrible planet. It was a terrible planet, the two Venuses. Though they were very, very advanced technologically, they are nowhere in spiritual standard and moral standard. Anyone who dares speaks about something that is uh, not materially proven, that person is classified as witches, as whatever name they can call it, I mean a very worthless person and a bad person, dangerous person. They worry that 
this kind of person will poison the mind of the planet population. So they destroy them the cruelest way possible in the public so that everybody knows about it and nobody dare even think in that direction anymore. They just concentrate on developing machines, technology, and they had very comfortable life, so they believe in it. They think there's nothing else better than this, better than their heaven at that time. I understand. It's really overwhelming to know something like that. It's so sad. Yes, it is. Um, it makes me feel small, no? because I'm already small, you know, but in the galaxy there's so many things, so many planets, and so much happening. It makes us feel nothing at all, feel very insignificant, less than insignificant. Thank you ever so much I, for being in the planet Earth with us. You are welcome, you're welcome, welcome. welcome. Savings, thank you so much. Thank you for your company for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Tune in tomorrow for part three of Supreme Master Ching Hai's fascinating discussion titled The Secrets of Venus. And now, Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is coming up next right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. With heaven's grace, may all beings live harmoniously in dignity and respect. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.